I'll be talking about, you know, migration issue in Africa, how Nigerian citizen and a lot of Cameroonian citizen have been, you know, evacuated, you know, and shipped back to their countries in their political countries in Nigeria and Cameroon from Equatorial Guinea. You know, this comes with a lot of issues regarding to their working permit in this country. Mostly is in Africa, but, you know, they have their own jurisdiction law and they have their own principle and they have their own law of the land too so this what is coming up and what do you think mr steven on these issues that i mentioned firstly we'll be talking about the nigerian citizen and cameroonian citizen be expelled from other african country like equatorial Etu guinea yeah, so what do you think uh, you know migration issues has been a lot of uh, problems to not only to Africa, but to the world, especially Europe. You no, know, many people devise various means to leave their country to go to other countries where they believe uh, as greener pasture for them. And I don't want to blame people for migrating for economic reasons. It is the 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 manner in which people travel that is my concern. Over and over again, we've read, we've seen series of news, series of videos of people dying in the sea in order to cross to Europe because the situation back home is terrible. The, the first instinct of any living thing is to survive. People want to survive, so they must move to a better place or a place they think is better. But when it gets to a point where African countries are deporting African countries. That has come to me as, as a big surprise. I, I, I wonder how or why a Nigerian citizen or a Cameroonian citizen will leave their countries and go to Equatorial Guinea and be deported. Because to me, I, I don't see anything uh, specially fantastic in Equatorial Guinea where, whereby people will go there and uh, and, uh, and get deported, that means they must have been doing something illegal there. Every country in the world wants uh, entrepreneurs in their country. They want people who can boost their economy. It is only those they consider uh, parasitic to their economy that they get at. They give the boot. So I don't know how, how bad or how terrible people from Cameroon or Nigeria feel from their own country for them to go to Equatorial Guinea and be deported. So what I think about this situation is the economic issue in Africa. Of course. It's like it's a lot of poverty level in Africa. Even the second, the middle class people, they are not making it up to that level, to that pedestal, you know, to that level to be there. So there's a lot of issues coming up. So everybody is looking for a way out. In Nigeria now, there's a time that a lot of people use, they call it Jakba. Jakba means run away. Everybody want to travel out of Nigeria. I'm just using Nigeria to do an example. It, it persists to all other African countries like Ghana, Cameroon, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Guinea-Conakry, Equatorial Guinea is all the same. We all African people before we became whatsoever we became on the subject of the earth today. But this issue, the reason why a lot of people is traveling everywhere in the world, uh, Equatorial Guinea too, they had a lot of you know, they had their own way and they have their own laws too in their country. These people should come in the rightful way to the countries. If they can do that, they can work too. Because the Economic Commission of Africa, the ECOWAS, you know, forum really had their own, you know, assessment to in pushing a lot of the economic issues in Nigeria to be resolved in this um economic commissions like ECOWAS, you know, but what is coming up in Africa is just poverty and the economic level in the whole of African countries is not easy. So everybody is looking out for their own country, safeguarding their own country and pushing out everybody that not coming to their country in the rightful way. So this I see. So the African citizens should go to this country the rightful way to have the permit to work like in Qatar, like in UAE, like even in Equatorial Guinea because it's a country that had its own jurisdiction. You understand? So what do you think about this? Yeah, you are right. You are right. Every country has their law. You must follow the laws and of your host country. If you don't follow the laws, you are booted out. Mm -hmm. But why I'm particularly saddened is that 
I have not in you know, recent times see people from other countries flooding into Nigeria to do this kind of thing. It is only Nigeria moving out of Nigeria to go to other countries. When we when Nigerians move out of Nigeria, move to Europe, to me that is understandable. Or to like Canada, or to, to Canada, North America. Or to America. That is understandable. But I don't see how we have gone so bad that we have to go from Nigeria to Equatorial Guinea and live illegal way. Okay, so that is not, I don't think economy of uh, Equatorial Guinea is that particularly uh, decent. Than with Cameroon all the, and Nigeria. Yeah, with all due respect to them, I don't think it's particularly fantastic for us to leave Africa, to leave Nigeria, leave Cameroon, to go to that country. Okay, so you see now, like we have issues with, with Nigerian currency. Ghana Nigerian currency has been rated as the lowest currency in Africa in 2022, and we know the French colonized country like Cameroon, like Guinea, like Burkina Faso, Mali, Senegal, whatever, whatever they spend in this French colonized country is not that bust up, like not too heavy in terms of the economic issue to handle and in terms of economic issue to handle and a lot of people talked about Nigeria being the giant of Africa in the past earliest days and the past glory of Nigeria having excess crude oil in Africa. That is the reason why a lot of Nigeria never traveled out of Nigeria. They always stay in Nigeria, you know, when the economy was good. But now the economy of Nigeria is very, very bad. The economy is, you know, my brother is, yes, is really going yes, deep I, down I, because I, I, of the, I, the, the economy is really going deep down because at this time, we don't have any choice for uh, than us to go to other places, you know, to feed our family and to look for other ways in, 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 in helping our family in the world. So the economic of Nigeria is bleeding now. So I don't see if people go anywhere in the world, they're trying to look for a better life, you know, to, to go on with their life. So what do you think? Yes, I agree with you. All we had, all the affluence, all the work Nigeria had, we squandered everything 40 years. So things are terrible, I agree. Things are bad, I agree. It, the other time, the Central Bank of Nigeria said less than 1% of Nigerian populace has 500,000 in their bank account. 500,000 in today's currency is less than $600. It's not even up to $500 and something, dollars, yeah, like yes. $500. Dollars. That means majority of Nigerians are poor. I agree. No controversy about that. It's not I, only in Nigeria. For I, other I, I, African countries like using, Ghana, I'm like using, Cameroon, you know, everywhere I'm in Africa too. I'm using Nigeria because CBN has said it. CBN is the bank in, uh, that is regulatory of our financial activities in Nigeria. They said less than 1% as 500,000 in their bank account. Now, countries like Ghana, Cameroon and the rest, they are passing through their own hard times too, and it is it is it is natural for people to look for where uh, things will be better for them. It's understandable, but when you go to other countries, which uh, I, I don't um, I don't particularly fancy, like uh, Equatorial Guinea. If it is South Africa, we, we, I can really <laughs> understand. <laughs> South Africa has. The, uh, a good think, economy, I yeah. The, the best the biggest in Africa. or the second biggest the, economy after in, Nigeria, yeah, in Africa. In Africa, that yeah. is understandable.